Two separate families have now filed lawsuits against the company Ripley Entertainment after their loved ones were killed during the Table Rock duck boat incident. Attorneys calling the duck boats floating coffins because of how they are designed. Others saying employees were aware of the storm and chose to gamble the lives of their passengers. The now KC's Ray Daniel has more. Duck boats are death traps. Those are the words attorneys for one family repeated today at a news conference. A lawsuit filed today on behalf of some members of the Coleman family asked for at least $100 million in damages. It named several companies, including Ripley Entertainment, on behalf of 76-year-old Irwin Coleman and 2-year-old Maxwell Lai. They died when the boat sank near Branson, along with several other members of the Coleman family. The lawsuit alleges several things, including negligence, outrageous conduct, and wrongful death. Today, attorneys for the family pointed out previous incidents that happened involving duck boats and safety measures recommended to prevent future deaths. NTSB recommendations, they say, were ignored. They claim the companies were warned about the boat's canopies, alleging they were dangerous and created death traps in the event of an emergency. Attorneys also said the driver and captain knew bad weather was coming. And they tried to beat the storm by going on water first, rather than refunding the 40 bucks that each of these people paid putting their lives at risk. A spokesperson for Ripley Entertainment said they cannot comment on the lawsuit because NTSB's investigation is continuing and no conclusions have been reached. In the newsroom, Ray Daniel, 41 Action News. All right, thank you, Ray. Now, a second lawsuit was filed against Ride the Ducks, this one out of Missouri. The daughters of a couple killed in the tragedy at Table Rock filed it against the company that owns the boat, as well as the boat driver and the captain. The driver, remember, did not survive. The daughters are asking for $25 million in damages. A Ripley spokeswoman said they are deeply saddened by this tragedy. 17 people were killed when the boat sank. The NTSB is still investigating. The company says they will not comment until that investigation is complete. We'll have more on the lawsuits coming up at 5 and 6.